too much. <laughs> well, you talk in the beginning, and yeah. then you shut up. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Power of Bourbon. Tonight we are going to try a bottle Chuck kind of picked up on a whim. And a a whim. it's turned out to be pretty good. I mean, I think so. Yeah. So this is uh, Milam and Green. It is batch one. It is a 13-year bourbon out of Texas, but it was distilled in Tennessee. Yep. Big surprise, it's Chuck's spot. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I didn't know it was Tennessee when I purchased it. He um, did. He, he had so me try it. this is the Castle, Castle Series, Castle yes. Hill Series, out of Milam and Green. So they are doing their own distillation, I believe, um, but this is not their product. This is sourced. Um, so aged at least three, uh, 13 years. Blended cool. product, um, but I believe it's a small batch. <laughs> and then, yeah, I later discovered it was set up on the back to still in Tennessee. Yeah, he got really excited. He's like, it's Texas. It's Texas. This is really good Texas whiskey. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not anything else. And I was like, I don't know. I think it's somewhere else. And we looked a little bit closer it's on the really, really Tennessee. small fine print that said distilled in Tennessee. So likely our friends out of Dickel. 91 points by one enthusiast. I don't know on, a, on what scale. But. I'm guessing out of 100. Oh, okay. Is that how they go? <laughs> the sweet nose. Yes. Some burnt brown sugar, vanilla. Burnt. I don't know if burnt is the right word there. <laughs> Toasted, maybe a better Toasted. word. Toasted. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Brown sugar. You don't sugar. want to burn your brown sugar. <laughs> yeah. This is our culinary expert, TJ. It's burnt. It's how I cooked in the Boy Scouts. It's how I still cook today. If it's burnt, you killed all the bugs. You will eat it and you will like it. Exactly. How you kill all the bugs. I think the, just the better practice is just not eating food with bugs in it. Sometimes it, you drop it and you gotta just okay. scoop it back in. So, on the beginning of the palette, I get... Honey and fruit. Like a dark fruit? Yeah, like a dark fruit. And then it slowly transitions. And it's interesting. So I get the oak coming through, and it actually kind of dries my palate out some. But yeah, so the, the palate definitely has a lot going on. Uh, and it's one of those that a lot of the uh, oak notes and everything like that actually kind of dries your palate out a little bit. That is an interesting, like, that's a good description. Well, I'm not, not sure I would have picked up on that, but once you said it, it's like, yeah, that's really, I mean, the finish kind of coats the mouth, which is part of that drying, uh, and then facilitates the drying, I think. Yeah, I'm getting a little, so there's some creaminess going on, so I'm wondering if that's like a marshmallow, so, and caramel, so caramel, marshmallow, fluff mm -hmm. going on. Uh, not getting much... There is like a little fruit on the nose, but I'm not getting fruit on the palate. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of fruit. Honey, definitely. Oh. And that's good. I can honestly say nowhere in this entire thing do I get really any dickle notes for the most part. So uh, maybe it doesn't actually come from dickle. Maybe it's somebody else in Tennessee that we don't know. But I mean, <laughs> if I had to guess, it's dickle because it's 13 old. 13 year old stock, yeah. yeah. I don't know anybody else that has that old uh, stock from Tennessee. So, but yeah, overall, this is a great bottle. If you can find one, go for it. How much is it going to run you? I think it was like one twenty. One twenty. I mean, it's better than uh, Discovery Five, which was our last video, and the video before that, which is Sam Houston, Houston Fifteen. Same price point. Yeah. yeah, same price point. This one delivers way beyond everything else. So, I mean, I think my recommendation would be definitely buy it if you see it. For sure. And this is the only Milam & Green product that I've had. I know that I've seen a lot of their single barrels. And so this is uh, the Castle Hill series is the only one that I've purchased. So I, I can't really make recommendations for their product line beyond that. Um, but it probably this one makes me want to check out some of their other stuff. Yeah. 
So I think their lead blender distiller is Heather Green, uh, one of their founders. And so, you know, she's she's able to do this with the, this 13 year old blend. I'd like to, to taste some of her other product. So then again, for the most stressful part of the evening, especially for Chuck, should it be in a cocktail or should you drink it neat? I think this one can be drank neat. It is pretty good. There's a lot of complex flavors going on, so yeah. I'm not going to put it in a cocktail. Goodness. I agree with that statement. <laughs> it's, it is a definitely a really good one just to sip and enjoy, and there's so much going on. You're going to, this is one that you would open up with friends that also enjoy whiskey, and you can really just sit and kind of talk the nuances of everything you're enjoying and finding in the flavor profile. So, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, have you tried any of the other Milo and Green stuff? We really want to know because we would like to know if we should pick up another bottle. Is that something that would interest you guys? So, uh, let us know below. And once again, thanks for watching. Stay neat. See ya.